Hello students, you are welcome. We are making a series on the previous question papers of NET syllabus and we have taken already 2018 question paper and covered 25 questions. In this video, we are going to cover the next 25 questions and it will be from uh, question number 20. 6 to 50 questions and as you know uh, the very structure of this uh, question paper is as there are uh, 100 questions for 200 marks and you have 2 hours of time so you have to solve uh, 100 questions in 2 hours so dear students uh, first uh, let me clear that uh, you check your knowledge of this previous question paper you can take a pen and paper and write down uh, like this question number one and before that question number uh, the answer or whatever you think that is the correct answer one two three four so these are the options and you can write down these options before and I will immediately tell you the correct option or correct answer and then you can check your score. So there are 25 questions means they are for 50 marks. So let's start with the very first question. Here I read <coughs> question number 26 match the characters with novels and we have here pairs very first you see A Arthur Seaton B Marlene, C, Anna Ulf and D, Beckwith and here we have the novels number one, Top Girls, number two, The Golden Notebook, number three, The Swimming Pool Library and number four, Saturday Night and Sunday Morning and here we have pairs, now pairs are given like this, A, B, A, C and D and here you have the options, which option is correct. Now, uh, you have to pair all these uh, authors and novels, in A you find uh, there is option 1 in 1 a 2 then b 3 now you can check here a 2 like this here b 3 like this and c 1 now this is c 1 and last d 4 so here is the d and 4 in this way you can find out the correct option so here one thing is very important that you should know at least two or three authors among these and then you can find the correct option and here the correct option is number two means a four you see then b one now here a four this is the correct option then you have B1, now here B, this is the correct option, Marlin, Top Girls, Arthur Seaton, Saturday night and Sunday morning. Then you have C2, means this is C, Anna Ulf has composed this novel, The Golden Notebook and last 4 and D option you see, this is D3. Now, Beckwith has composed this, the swimming pool library. So, these are the correct options. In this way, you can check your answer. Next question, number 27. The very last passage of a novel is given below. Identify the novel. Here we have the passage and we have to identify the novel. Let me read. Welcome, O life. I go to encounter for millionth time the reality of experience and to forge in the smithy of my soul the uncreated conscience of my race. April 27. Old father, old artificer, stand me now and ever in good state. So, this is the last passage of a novel given below and you have to recognize that novel. Uh, for, this is a difficult kind of question but if you think about this question, there are questions based on the beginning of the novel, beginning of the poem, beginning of the story or beginning of any text or the ending of any text. This kind of things you have there in the question paper and the correct option here is Number two, it is from a portrait of the artist as a young man. So you should know the beginning and ending of some popular uh, texts of popular authors. So this is very important and hence you should read some original texts too to understand uh, these type of questions. Next, we have Francis Bacon's New Atlantis is about a utopian state called what is that state? We have options number one, Asgard, number two, Avalon, number three, Ben Salem and number four, Baltia or Balshia. And the correct option is here you have 
बिन सालिम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन द राइज ऑफ बैकलैश अगेंस्ट मॉडर्निज्म एंड अगेंस्ट न्यू रोमांटिसिज्म दैट बिकेम नोन एज द मूवमेंट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग लिटिल मैगजीन केम टू बी एसोसिएटेड विद द मूवमेंट नाउ हियर यू हैव फोर मैगजीन्स एंड यू हैव टू रिकोगनाइज the magazines which are associated with the movement and here options are a departure b new verse c london mercury and d new poems and you have four options number 1 a and b means departure and new verse 2 c and d just c london mercury and d new poems and 3 a and d you can see departure and new poems and number 4 b and d you can see here new verse and new poems and the correct option is number 2 c and d so here london mercury and new poems is the correct option the magazine associated with the movement next the error of interpreting a literary work by referring to evidence outside of itself such as design and purpose of the author is called here you have four options affective fallacy intentional fallacy authorial fallacy and synecdochic fallacy now here the answer is very clear that the answer belongs to first two options number one affective fallacy or intentional fallacy now here you can concentrate on interpreting there is a error in the interpretation of literary work and what is that called and the correct option is second intentional fallacy next question here amon's parodies a famous poem in his swaggled here we have a famous poem by ar amon's and it is a parody i would rather be suckled by an outworn pagan that get my horn ripped in an old triton which poet which poem so this is the question for you which poet and which poem here number 1 john keats on the first looking into chapman's horn homer number 2 john milton on his blindness number 3 william wordsworth the world is too much with us and number 4 elizabeth b browning how do i love thee so these are some of the famous poems by famous poets and this is the parody bar by a r amons and the correct option is number 3 william wordsworth the world is too much with us next fanny burney's evelina carries the subtitle what is the subtitle of this evelina number 1 or a new lady's entrance in, into the world number 2 or a young lady's entrance into the world number 3 or a young lady's exit from the world number 4 or a bold lady's entrance into the world and the correct option is number 2 this is next what does philip sidney call poet haters in his defense of poesy this work is very important defense of poesy and there is another work uh, which is composed by uh, peacock thomas low peacock and in that work he abuses poets and uh, he gives so many reasons to abuse the poets and he uh, has proclaimed that poets are not important in the a state or they should be banned as plato has said so he adds the principle given by plato and here is the re uh, response or the reply by C philip sidney in defense of poetry or defense of poetry and what he calls poet haters and here are the options misogynists misanthropes misnomers and misomosai so the correct option is number 4 misomosai this is what philip sidney calls poet haters misomosai next here you see who among the following raises the following painful question of longing and belonging here we have a quotation where shall i turn divided to the vein i who have cursed the drunken officer of british rule how choose between this africa and the english tongue i love and the options are derek walcott number 2 louis bennett number 3 kamau Brathwaite and number four Old Swinka and the correct option is number one Derek Walcott. So this is the statement by Derek Walcott. Next, in the 1940s, a critic and a philosopher produced two influential and controversial papers called the Intentional Fallacy and the Affective Fallacy. Identify them. Who uh, composed that paper? A. Cleanth Brooks. B. 
मंड्रो सी बियर्सले सी विलियम के विमसेट जूनियर एंड डी आर पी ब्लैकमोर एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज यू सी बी एंड सी सो मंड्रो सी बियर्सले एंड विलियम के विमसेट जूनियर दे हैव कंपोस्ट द वेरी कॉन्ट्रोवर्सियल और इन्फ्लुएंशियल पेपर कॉल्ड द इंटेंशनल फैलसी एंड अफेक्टिव फैलसी नेक्स्ट Philip Larkin's sad steps notices the way the moon dashes through clouds that blow loosely as cannon smoke to stand apart the poem alludes to number 1 Coleridge's dejection and ode number 2 the moonlit scene seen in a midsummer night's dream number 3 Philip Sidney's Astrophel and Stella and number 4 T.S. Eliot's Morning at the Window and the correct option is Philip Sidney's Astrophel and Stella. So this is the poem. Match the following opening lines with their respective titles. So here we have four opening lines and their titles. A. I leant upon a coppice gate. B. A sudden blow, the great wings beating still. C. Among twenty snowy mountains. And D. I know what the cage cages bird feels. Alas. And here we have titles number one, thirteen blackbirds. Number two, sympathy. Number three, the darkling thrush. And number four, Leda and the Swan. Now, as I have already told you that uh, there are questions on the beginning of poem, story, or novel, or drama, and uh, the questions on ending too. So you should read carefully the beginning and the last part of any text so that you can solve these type of questions. And here we have option again in the same fashion here. You have given all those uh, uh, beginnings of the poem, and he in this way you have given the titles. So the correct answer is here number two. So A is to four. Here you can see this is A four. B one. You see this is B and here thirteen blackbirds. In the same way C two and D three. so here you have c2 sympathy and this is d3 so this is the titles and their poems identify the titles that were published in the 1920s which titles were published here we have four titles a look stranger b the tower c the westland and d the road to vegan pier and the correct option is you can choose b and c which were published in the 1920s the tower and the westland very influential works or poems 39 this novel is dedicated to the railroad of bones and has as its epigraph the line and the woman they give dead women's clothes to from christian genelia's inheritance identify the novel and here you have four options african psycho by alan mabanko Number two, the Chibok Girls by Helen Habila. Number three, the Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. And number four, the Book of Night Women by Marlon James. And the correct option is here number two, the Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. An English poet couldn't help the excitement that a historical event caused in his lifetime. Bliss was it in that dawn to be alive, but to be young was very heaven. Which poet? What dawn? Now it, these are very famous lines of a very famous poems, and you have to recognize the dawn and the poet. So dawn here uh, is in the background, and we have option W H Auden, the Spanish Civil War, number two, Lord Tennyson, the Jubilee of Queen Victoria's reign, number three, William Wordsworth, the French Revolution, and number four, William Blake, the Industrial Revolution. And the correct option is William Wordsworth. He says in the background of French Revolution or at the dawn of French Revolution. Which novel by John Banville tells the story of a group of travelers who arrive on a small island and stumble upon the house of Professor Kedzonor, whose relationship to a painting entitled *The Golden World* by a fictional Dutch artist named Wobbling plays a central role. So here uh, you have John Banville's story, and in that story you find this Professor Kedzonor and. 
द गोल्डन वर्ल्ड इट्स अ फिक्शनल पेंटिंग एंड दिस नेम एपियर्स इन दैट प्ले सो इट इज अगेन यू सी दैट स्टोरी विद इन स्टोरी मीन्स मेटा स्टोरी एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज नंबर वन गोस्ट यू फाइंड दिस कैरेक्टर एंड द पेंटिंग इन गोस्ट Identify the two plays usually paired for their critique of the politics of language and acts of police interrogation. Here you have four options: Earthly Powers, The Waiting Seed, Chicken Soup with Barley Roots, Left Handed Liberty, The Hero Rises, and number four, One for the Road, Mountain Language. Now here you can understand uh, this. Uh, very politics of language and police interrogation appears in a particular play among these four plays. Now you can choose your option, and the correct option is number three: left-handed liberty, the hero rises. Next, semiotics originated mainly in the works of two theorists. They are Charles Sanders Peirce, B. Mikhail Bakhtin, C. Ferdinand de Saussure, and D. Valentin Voloshinov. And the correct option is. it's a very simple question a and c charles sanders peirce and ferdinand de saussure so these two names are very influential uh, in the origin of the semiotics or the theory of semiotics number 44 robert burton's anatomy of melancholy was published in 1621 and expanded and altered in dash subsequent editions now here you can see that the book is originally published in 1621 but after that it is altered and uh, there are some editions came after this publications you can check out all those editions and how many editions are there 2 4 6 or 5 and the correct option is there are five editions uh, it is published in 1624 and uh, then you have its first edition in uh, 1624 then 1628 1613 1632 uh, 34 and 1638 so these are the five editions of the same next which of the following magazine self consciously created an identity for vorticists a group of painters sculptors and writers so magazine and the options are blast the egoist the criterion and number 4 new age and the correct option is the blast so this is the answer in every cry of every man in every infant's cry of fear in every voice in every ban the figure of speech characterized by repetition of words or group of words at the beginning of consecutive sentences is called now here you see uh, the very definition words or group of words at the beginning of consecutive sentences is called and you have options apostrophe anaphora incremental repetition and alliteration now uh, the correct option is here anaphora now many students think that the option would be number 4 that is alliteration but this is not the option why because in alliteration you find the repetition of consonant sounds in Uh, any uh, sentence or in any line at any place but here you see at the beginning of consecutive sentences means this is first sentence this is next this is next and the every voice the every every so this is what the beginning of that uh, line and it marks the anaphora and this is called as anaphora next at whose behest does the Red Cross Knight undertake his quest in the Fairy Queen. Number one, Gloriana's. Number two, Una's. Number three, Duessa's. And number four, Prosperine's. And the correct option is number one, Gla Gloriana's. So, uh, in Red Cross Knight, you find Gloriana. Next, in which city did John Ruskin see a parading for Victorian Britain? Number one, Vienna. Number two, Venice. Number three, Rome. And number four, Paris. And the correct option is Venice. So Ruskin Bond finds the paradigm for Victorian Britain in Venice. Forty-nine. Which novel of Kazuo Ishiguro is narrated by a Japanese widow living in England and draws on the destruction and rehabilitation of Nagasaki? And options are an artist of floating world. Number two, the unconsoled. Number three, a pale view of hills. And number four, when we were orphans. And the correct option is a pale view of hills. 
Now you see that you need to understand the works and their writers to solve such type of questions because the area of uh, questions is very vast and the questions are asked on the literature which is composed in English. It's not only English literature but the literature in English and hence you find this type of questions in the examination. And the last question here we have which novel opens thus? whether i shall turn out to be the hero of my own life or whether that station will be held by anyone else these pages must show and you have famous works number one tristram shandy number two lady audley's secret number three david copperfield and number four fitz boodle's confessions and uh, these are very famous lines and the correct option is number four david copperfield and this was the last question on our series now you can check the answer and calculate your score and please comment that score below in the comment section if you find any question any query you can feel free to contact me or comment below in the comment section and dear students again we are having next series or next questions from 51 to 75 stay tuned and watch literature simply let's meet in the next video thank you very much